Okay, so my third generation Fire TV Cube, as you can see running the latest update, I now press the home button on the remote, and in a few seconds, we can see I'm once again taken to a custom launcher where I can now create custom sections, I can use a custom wallpaper, I can move applications around, I can hide things, I can reorder things, and really just get my home screen looking exactly how I like it. And of course, with the massive benefit of not seeing any Amazon adverts, no more Amazon sponsored content, no more Amazon promoted applications, I can once again get my home screen looking exactly how I like it. So in this video today, let me show you how you can once again use a custom launcher on all of your Amazon devices, Fire Sticks, Fire TV Cubes, and really just take control of your device once more. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the third generation Fire TV Cube. Uh, you can follow this process on any other Amazon Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Cube, or really any other Amazon device. So the first thing we're going to do is just open up Downloader. Let's click on that. And we're now going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can always type in the short code 53402. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, Click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new method of using a custom launcher on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So how to use a custom launcher on your Fire Sticks, Android TVs, April 2024. Here we can see some step-by-step -step instructions, some of the benefits of having a custom launcher. Keep scrolling down. And with all of that, we'll see a bunch of files. Now for your Amazon devices, you need to have this new version of uh, LM Mini. So click on that, install that first. For Android TV devices, you install this version, which has been working fine anyway. And then you can choose a custom launcher. So everything from Project IV to F Launcher, choose whichever one you want, install those two applications on your device. Once you've done that, you can now press the home button. Okay, so you've installed both applications from our website, the new version of LM, which is the application created by Sween Wolf, and also a custom launcher of your choice. Now, before you open up LM, we do have to give this new application permissions. Now, as I'm sure you guys are aware, because of the recent ADB block from Amazon, we can now no longer run ADB commands directly on the device itself we have to initiate those commands from another device. So another Android phone, another Android tablet, another Fire Stick, another Fire TV, another Android TV device. Basically the request has to come from an external device onto this device to make that change. Now, before we do that, let's confirm what my IP address is. So if I go over to the settings, go over to My Fire TV, click on About, and we can see inside network, my IP address, just behind my head ends in 148. So 192.168.0.148. That's the IP address I need to type in to remote ADB shell on another device. Now my demonstration, I'm gonna just use an Android emulator, but as I mentioned before, you can use any other device on your home network. Long as it's on the same network as the device where you want to install a custom launcher, it'll work absolutely fine. So let me now start remote ADB show on another machine. Okay, so there we can see on another device, I've now opened up remote ADB show and I've typed in the IP address of my third generation Fire TV cube. So I can now just click on connect. Let's click on that. We can see in the background, my Fire TV cube is asking me, do you want to allow this remote ADB connection? So I can just click on yes. Let me just show you what that looks like. So let me get my remote and just click on always allow. Click on OK. That's now connected. I'm back on that device now. I now need to type in those three commands that we saw on my website. So let me copy and paste those commands in. Here is the first one. Let's paste that in. That's gone in. Let's send that command. We can see no errors. Let's now get the second command. Let's paste that in. Press enter. Again, no errors. Let's now get the final command. Paste that in. Press enter. And we can see that now it says added. So, so those three commands have gone in, which means those required permissions have now been set on my Fire TV Cube. So that's all of the stuff I need to do from a remote device. Let's now jump back onto my Fire TV Cube. 
Let's now open up this new version of LM for the first time. Let's go over to my applications. Here it is, so let's open that up. Give that a second. And we can see on the left now, it says Active Launcher is the stock launcher, the KFTV, the standard stock launcher for these Amazon devices. What we want to do is before we enable a custom launcher, is go to where it says custom launcher. Let's click on that. And you now want to select whichever launcher, whichever custom launcher you installed on your device. So you can use uh, Project IV, you can use Leanback, you can use um, really any custom launcher that you like, F launcher. But my demonstration, just for old time's sake, I'm gonna open up the Wolf launcher. Let's uh, do that now. Let's select that now. That's now selected, but before we actually activate that, we need to select the top option, which is the handler status. At the moment, it's inactive. If I just press the select button on that, and now it says that your active launcher is your custom launcher. Now all of the settings are correct. I actually recommend you reboot your device to fully apply the change, but that will also demonstrate that if you do restart your device, it should boot into a custom launcher. So let's do a restart by holding down the play, pause, and the select buttons. Let's hold this down for five seconds. So five, four, three, two. Okay, it says it's powering off. Okay, let's give that a second. Let's see now in a couple of seconds, does the device properly restart? And do we then automatically start a custom launcher? Even if you do see the initial profile selection screen for a few seconds, I'm hoping once that's done, it should take us to a custom launcher. It's done exactly that, right on queue, right on schedule. So now I'm inside a custom launcher. As you know, if you open up any application, like Downloader, I don't need to press the home button now. I can just press back on the remote, press back again, and it'll stay inside the custom launcher. Similarly, if I'm opening up um, the key application, I can open that up, opens up fine. And again, when I finish with the application, if I just press back, if I go to the top, select exit, it'll then always stay in the custom launcher. So the only time you need to invoke the home button press if the application doesn't support the back button. Here, for example, is Plex. I can open that up. Starts fine. Okay, let's press cancel. Let's now press back. It stays in the custom launcher. But of course, if I'm now inside um, Just Watch, I can open that up. And this time, instead of pressing back, if I press the home button, we can see it shows you this kind of splash screen. So this just ensures that you don't see the standard stock launcher even for a second. Now, I don't want to explain too much how this custom launcher works because, you know, Amazon are always just, you know, watching and checking and blocking. So let's just say that for us now, we don't need to see the home screen anymore. We're not going to see any of those home screen adverts. I can open up any application. And if I don't want to press back, as soon as I press the home button, you'll see a small splash screen for a couple of seconds. And once again, you'll be taken into your custom launcher where of course, no more adverts, no more sponsored content. And you really can go ahead and customize your home screen and get it looking exactly how you like it. So that's pretty much this video guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new method. Are you still sticking with the Amazon devices? Have you moved over to Android TV? Do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.